I'm Nick Mason, sometime drummer of the Pink Floyd and car enthusiast. Hi, I'm Mark Hales. That's my name on Into the Red, which was the second edition of the book that I co-wrote with Nick Mason. We're here at Anglesey Circuit to add three new chapters for a third edition, the Enzo, the Bentley and the Little Alpha TZ. Uh, 1927, Austin 7 Chummy cost me 20 quid and I learned to drive on it. Slightly modified, I think, with a four-speed box and it had a soda siphon top on the radiator. It's a bit like asking about which is your favourite child, but uh, I think the most important car is without doubt the Ferrari GTO. Uh, it's 1962, raced at Le Mans, finished third, but it's also a car that you can use on the road, uh, you can rally it, you can take the kids to school in it. I mean, it's a fantastic all-rounder. <laughs> Very rarely on a circuit. It's great because it's predictable. It's not like these modern cars where the power suddenly comes in. Music has to be the, the sort of prime mover because uh, it's allowed me to indulge in, in something that I'm passionate about. And I think I'm probably better at music than cars. <laughs> I think uh, there are memorable moments on stage, memorable moments, you know. The, the, winning a particular race or the first time you go to Le Mans and driving at Le Mans for the first time is perhaps really important. There's a much bigger sort of emotion to, to doing something like Live Aid. It's fun, but fun doesn't even begin to explain what it is. It's also about the emotion generated with an audience and music and so on. So they're, they're very different, uh, they're very different ev life events really and I wouldn't say one was greater than the other. Well, I'm actually running uh, an Audi RS4, which is um, fantastic because you can get a drum kit in it and uh, you can still lose your license really easily. Uh, uh, uh.